So there was something inside that you knew was not right. It was evil. 1968, a young black woman murdered in a former sundown town. It was just the way she was killed. Walking down the street, and it heartbreaking that somebody that had hatred for them would do that. Who did it and why? There's secrets and lies. Race is at the heart of it, and it's not just Martinsville. A family awaits justice. They didn't bit more care. Black girl got murdered down here. They didn't care. They didn't give a doggone. A murder case goes cold. Did you know that you were supposed to be dead? Well, now, <laughs> I had never heard that. I've never killed nobody in my life. Then, a phone call that changed everything. If this girl had a yellow scarf and was killed with a screwdriver, my father could be the killer. Who was the accomplice? Witnesses bring light to a 50-year-old murder mystery as the nation faces a crossroad. The problem is the dark past is still shaping the present. Now, for the first time, two Hoosier communities explore the legacy left behind. It's not too late to do the right thing, and the right thing was to help the next generation be better people as a result of her story. We can't change history. We need to learn from mistakes that were made. History unfolds beyond the headlines of the girl in the yellow scarf.